good morning everybody welcome back to my channel and to another vlog i'm gonna bring you guys through a little week in my life we're starting it off on tuesday hello it is 6 30 in the morning i'm literally about to walk out the door it is a lift day today full body i'm attempting to clean up before i go because i feel like when i leave my place and i feel like that's what i'm doing right now we're gonna get a lift session in this morning I am back to hybrid training because I'm training for my half marathon. So definitely stick around for that if you are interested in hybrid training. I just think it's really fun. But anyways, it is February 13th today. It is a Tuesday and we are going to bring you guys through this week. I am now at the well. I freshened up a bit. I'm about to go get a coffee and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to Chapters in Indigo so that I can get Jason a book for Valentine's Day and then also a card. And then depending on timing, I wanted to go to Boxer Running and get them to like measure and check my feet. Sorry for how loud it was. Oh my god. <laughs> I've just been having some issues with my ankles and my knees. So I'm gonna check on that, but I'm just gonna get a coffee quick first second coffee of the day. <laughs> got back from doing all my running around. So I got Jay his Valentine's Day gift, a card, returned my pair of sneakers I wanted to return, and I picked up, well, I went to the running store and I got fitted for shoes. And surprisingly, I am totally not the size that I've been ordering. So I've always been ordering a six and a half in running shoes. And when I got measured, actually they recommended me to wear a seven and a half. I could have worn a seven, but it's just my one foot is bigger than the other. The other half just kind of helped that foot have some space. Cause as you guys know, you want to have some space at the end, especially for long runs when your feet swell up just to avoid any sort of issue moves. So I picked up this pair of shoes for my long run shoes. I was fitted for these and recommended them because I do have flat feet and I've been dealing with obviously like pronation issues that are giving me some knee and ankle pain. I'm going to keep my speed endorphin shoes for tempo runs and stuff like that. But for when I'm doing long distance runs, I'm gonna wear these to protect my feet and my ankles. So these are the A6 Gel Kianos. They actually felt really good. The colorway on these is crazy, but this is the colorway they had in stock. So I was like, whatever. We're going with a fun, colorful shoe, okay? These are in your face, turquoise, pink, green. They have like pure gel technology, super stabi like stability in the ankles, which is great. So stop your ankles from like wobbling as much. And yeah, so these are gonna be my new little sneakers for those kind of runs. I also picked up some more crew socks. I also lost the freaking mic cover for this camera. It fell out of my pocket today while I was wandering around, which is just so annoying. What can you do? It's gone, so we're living with that. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. I'm about to do my skincare, and I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about some of my mental health and personal goals that I am implementing for the new year. So one thing that I'm trying to do this year is to not overthink so much, to not stress so much, and to not worry so much. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like a natural worrier, stressor, overthinker, and it's something that I'm definitely trying to overcome. And thankfully, therapy is a great tool for that. They can teach you ways to look at situations differently than you normally would. Tools and practices you can use to better manage your emotions and feelings really help you have a better grasp of yourself and why you feel the way you do. And that's why I'm so excited to be working with BetterHelp on today's video. So thank you to them for sponsoring. So BetterHelp makes starting therapy a lot easier and less intimidating for most people because it is a virtual service. So you're able to do therapy in any way that works best for you, whether that is a video call, whether that is a phone call, whether that is just live messaging, you are able to pick a therapy method that makes you feel the most comfortable. So BetterHelp can match you to one in over 30,000 therapists in their network based on your location, your preferences, and your needs, which gives you a wide range of access than you may 
find just in your local area. So to get started, you basically just fill out a little questionnaire which will ask you about what your needs are, what you're looking for out of a therapist. In most cases, you'll be matched to a therapist within 48 hours. You're able to schedule a therapy session at any time that is convenient for you. And if you feel like your therapist isn't a good match for you, you're able to switch therapists at the click of a button with no additional cost. So join over 4 million people who are using BetterHelp to live a happier and healthier life. You can click the link in below or go to www.betterhelp.com backslash Chelsea T to get started. Clicking the link helps support my channel and it also gives you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can get started right away. But yes, thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I'm so happy to be working with them. They are such a great brand when it comes to therapy and I honestly think therapy is such a beneficial tool and helps you so much. Thank you to BetterHelp. Now I'm going to do my skincare and get ready for today. Day. I have a long run to get through a 12k which is intimidating but exciting but it's so cold out so I don't know really how I feel about it it'll be fine we're gonna dress for the cold weather and prepare ourselves so I'm just gonna apply my tower 28 daily rescue facial spray I'm doing my skincare before this run because honestly I don't think I'm gonna sweat because it's that cold out but now I'm gonna go in with my vitamin C you guys know this is my favorite vitamin C. I will link it down below if you're looking for one. And also the fact that the air can't get at this because of the way it's like a pump style. I don't know why more vitamin C's with l acid don't do that. In a dropper, it always oxidizes and then it doesn't work the same way. Like I just don't understand the thought process of why they even do it like that. Going in with my moisturizer. It's like holy grail for me. I honestly think I'm gonna rebuy this moisturizer when I'm done because I do think it's made a difference in my skin. I just feel like it's like so hydrating but also like just doesn't irritate or clog my pores, which is what I always need in my life. After this, we need to make breakfast. So I've already had my coffee this morning, but I need breakfast. Like I'm feeling the, I've only had coffee anxiety creeping in on me. morning everybody happy thursday oh my god i didn't vlog much of yesterday because when jay got home obviously i just wanted to spend time with him because obviously it was valentine's day and i just wanted to keep that for me and him you know but i'll show you the cute thing that he got me this was by my request because i wanted one it's a jelly cat but i asked him to pick out one for me just whatever one he thought would be cute and this is the one I picked out and it's so cute. It's a little egg with sunglasses. I love it. I have it sitting on my nightstand here. And I honestly think it's so adorable because when the sunrise lamp comes on in the morning, he's just sitting beside it with sunglasses on and it just does something to my heart. I'm about to blow dry my hair. I've just been doing some computer work, but I washed my hair and whatnot. I went for a long run yesterday. It was like a 12K run, so definitely a lot longer than I typically do. So I am a little bit sore today, which was to be expected because I haven't run a 12K in so long. I ended up changing my training plan and putting it like back a level. I think honestly, I'm just being honest here with myself. I was being a little bit too confident in my running skills. I was making myself progress like too quickly that I feel like I'm gonna injure myself. I put my plan back a stage, so now I won't be running as far of distances. It's just a little bit of a slower plan, which I think will be a lot better to just avoid injury do not start off doing super long distances you don't want to hurt yourself it was a good day i'm gonna do a lift session later i'm probably gonna stick to mostly upper body and just have like a bit chill of a day we're supposed to get a snowstorm not snowing yet so i don't know when exactly that is gonna happen because so far no snow and another exciting news is that my new garmin should be delivered today i'm actually gonna be working with garmin throughout this year which is so exciting to be partnering with them as like a Garmin ambassador, I just, that is amazing to me. I'm really excited to get my new Garmin. It should be delivering today and it is the Garmin 3S. I'm so excited. Ah! When that comes, I will show you guys, but let's fix our hair. Hello friends. I just made myself a little matcha. I haven't made a matcha latte in the afternoon so long just because I didn't have any matcha, but I was sent over some from Peak, which I've been wanting to try their matcha for so long. 
So when they sent it over, I was really, really excited. And let me tell you, so good. Anyways, I'm eating again, just like a second mini breakfast. I'm also gonna eat lunch in a bit, but my appetite is huge, especially with all the exercise I've been doing. I'm just eating an egg and two pieces of toast. I also had protein oatmeal this morning. So we're just eating again, it's fine. I listen to my body. When I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. I gave myself like a blowout and I don't know how I feel about the Dyson blowout anymore. Like I feel like when you just use the curling attachment, I don't know, my hair is just massive. <laughs> <laughs> like I prefer waving my hair honestly I think like this is just a lot I know it's gonna fall out that's fine but also I find it because my hair is naturally wavy it's really difficult to like smooth out the top bits because I don't want to like dry my hair too much because then it won't work so I find like around my face it's just like not very smooth like it kind of still has that like wave texture it's not ideal so I don't really know how I feel about this hair also we were supposed to get a blizzard and there's nothing happening right the weather people in Toronto are just always hyping up Storms that aren't here. It says it's gonna start within the next hour and then we're gonna get Around like almost four centimeters of snow. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, it says it, it says it's pushing in I don't see it. Where's the radar? Where is the blizzard when it arrives? I'll show you guys it Hello guys, it is much later now. It's around 5 30 p.m. My new Garmin delivered. So this is it. I have it on now. This is the Venue 3S. I actually let Jay have my old watch. So he's currently wearing it. We set it up for him and he's wearing the Venue 2S, but Venue 3S, I got it in the soft gold in like the pearly kind of creamy color. I just think this would go with the most things like just wearing on a general basis, but I have it all set up for my workout. It has all my stats and stuff which will be loaded into here. I feel like the screen is bigger in general, like the screen space seems larger than the 2S and I just really like it. It also has three buttons on the side. You can customize what you want the third one to be. It has some extra features too. Like I think this one records naps, which is interesting. It also has a sleep coach on here. I have to set up my cycle tracking. That's not set up. But yeah, cycle tracking, your recovery, et cetera, et cetera. Just like the normal stuff that we normally have on here. I just love it so far. I'm really excited to take this on a run soon. I feel like it'll be great for that. As I go along, I'll give you guys a more like a thorough review on it. But thank you to Garmin for sending this to me. This was gifted by them. So thank you so much for that. It's stunning. I'm gonna wear it for my workout that I'm about to go to. I'm already dressed. I'm dressed for my workout underneath my sweats. I literally wear leggings and sports bra and then I put sweats back over top of it to walk to the gym because I just hate being cold. And I love this band. I love the smooth and like the creamy. My other one was kind of more of like a taupey gray. This one's like a creamy white. It's literally beautiful. Like so glad I went with this color because I'm obsessed with it. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. I am currently just making protein pancakes for breakfast. I just had to let Millie out, but I have this home style protein and waffle mix from PE Science. It's so good. It's 15 grams of protein per serving. I just made the mix. I think I'm gonna add like chocolate chips into it maybe. I could do blueberries or chocolate chips, or I could do both. And doing both sounds kind of like a good move. I'm not gonna lie. I might have to do that. Let's, let's do it. Let's add a little bit. A little sprinkle. I just went on a huge cleaning spree and now the apartment is sparkling for the weekend. There's nothing better than just resetting your entire apartment. I vacuumed, washed the floors, wiped down everything. Like it's just feeling 
So much cleaner in this space now, which is lovely for a Friday. I also put on some self tanner, so that's developing. I wasn't gonna self tan, but honestly, I've just been feeling kind of down on myself recently. So I was like, I'm just gonna give myself a pick me up and give myself a tiny tan. So I've had it on now for an hour and a half. I'm only gonna leave it on, I think for like three hours tops. It says to leave for two to six, depending on how tanned you want to be. So I'm just gonna do three hours because I don't want to be like super tanned. I just want kind of like a little bit of a golden glow so I don't look, you know, dead. Use the Nuda tan. I was sent it like a long time ago. It's like Nuda Canada. And the one's in dark though. So I don't know how tanned I'm gonna get. I feel like I don't look super tanned. I also put their face tanner on, just like a spray on one. It has no pore cloggers, which is great. I apply that all over as well. We will see how tanned I get. It's honestly, I don't wanna be super tanned. So just like a nice, a nice glow. So I'm not looking as pale. That would be nice. That would be lovely actually, but yeah. Feeling really good that the space is a lot cleaner. I think I'm gonna sit down now and do some more editing and just some work on my computer and emails and stuff before the weekend begins. So I'm gonna make myself a tea and then sit down to do that. Millie walking around to spread her fur everywhere that I vacuumed up because that's what life with the corgi is like. My dad actually went to Dubai recently, which is so cool. Um, and he had a stop in the Heathrow airport in London. So he bought me this mug, it's a Gryffindor mug. <laughs> from the Harry Potter store at the airport there, which is so cool. Obviously love Gryffindor, but am I a Gryffindor? No, I've done the test and I'm a, I'm a thorough, through and through Hufflepuff gal. That's just my house, but I love Gryffindor. So very thankful for this. If you've done the Harry Potter test, please let me know which house you are. I am Hufflepuff and I have never gotten anything other than Hufflepuff. I've tried multiple tests and I'm just off above every time. I'm also thinking about still buying the Harry Potter video game. I don't know why I haven't bought it yet. I just feel like it's gonna take up so much of my time, but also I feel like it'd be so fun. Maybe I'll download it and play it tonight. That could be a good time because Jay's going to have a boys night and I would love to have a nice night to myself playing Harry Potter. That might have to happen. I had a kettle so loud in the back. I recently got this tea, which I'm so happy about. They had it at the grocery store. This was one of my favorite teas. It's an import product that we get here sometimes. It's the PG Tips tea, which is just like a standard tea, but it's from the UK. And I just really like the flavor of this one. This one or Yorkshire is my favorite. Jay wants to get me on Irish tea, which I think when we go to Ireland, I will like get some and bring it home and try it, et cetera, et cetera. But for right now, I'm still sticking with the British tea. We ate like 20 pounds of sushi and then have been in a coma ever since. <laughs> but I think I'm just gonna end off this vlog here because the energy levels are low and I don't think anything else really is gonna be happening on this Friday, to be honest. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.